name? What's your name? Chris. I need you here for a minute, Chris. Brother right here. Let me ask you the same question I asked Chris. All of our men that keep getting shot down the streets and killed, why does that keep happening to us? You asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you. I just asked I Chris. I, knew. Huh? I wish I could give you a good answer. Chris gonna give you the answer. I know. Because Chris know why. Is your wife? Yeah. I'm gonna see if your wife know the answer. Why? We're doing it to ourselves. We we're doing it to ourselves. That's a good, that's really a good answer, but I'm going to tell you why. Chris, tell me what you just said again. Come here. Say it, say it, say it loud. Not white privilege. White privilege. Do y'all want to know what white privilege really is? I'm going to show you according to the scriptures what white privilege is. It's Christianity. That's right. Christianity. This right here is white privilege. Chris, did you know? That according to the Bible, this is not Jesus. Bring it out. So I'm gonna ask Chris because I, I want to see what Chris got to say. Huh? What color is Jesus? <laughs> no one knows. If no one knows, then why is this image everywhere? Bring it out. Huh? But why would your people make that the Christ? Bring it If nobody knows. What's that? Okay, I'm gonna read the Bible. Y'all heard what Chris said? He said, read the Bible. Know your Bible. What's that? Know your Bible. He said, know your Bible. Yes, what Chris is, when you say your, that's a possessive noun, right? What does your mean? If, if I say those are your shoes, what does that mean? Well, did you know that this Bible is your Bible? And it's not Chris Bible? This book is our history book. Right. It does not belong to any other nationality of people. Not the white man, not the Chinese man, not the Arab man. This book is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans book. Right here, the 12 tribes of Israel. That is the lie that we've been told for years and years up under Christianity. That is the white man's book. But Chris has been honest, and I'm glad. And he said that we the scripture. We're going to read the scripture on what Christ is. And I'm going to show you that this is Christianity, but this Bible is the truth. Give me Revelation 1 verse 14. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The Bible says that the true image of Jesus had hair like wool. That's right. So who would be the tribal white people? We're going to show you. Hang around. Hang around. No. Because I'm already doing something right now. Hang around. Hang around. Man, everybody got to go. I don't, I don't get it. Everybody got to go. You ain't got nowhere to go. It's, it's Sunday. You got to go to work? Go ahead and tell me a lie. I got to go home to my kids, brother. You the man in the house. My wife lives in Atlanta. Okay, man. Okay. Wait, I'm going to deal with who in front of me. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. The Bible says that Christ's head and hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Right. Does this man here have white hair? Of course. Woolly hair? Not at all. What na nationality of people has woolly hair? Yeah. Black, Black people. people. That's right. This image right here. Keep reading. And, it, and his feet like unto five. Miss the whole part. Go back. Fourteen. Verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. What color eyes does this man have? All right. Ain't flame of fire. What about this man? Based by that picture. What color? What? But, but this picture. Is, is given a description of what the scripture is what the scriptures say. Okay. That's right. Okay. So what color is this man's eyes? In that picture, right. red. it's red. Right. Give me uh, east, um, um, Genesis 49. Read. Bring it out. I'm gonna show you why his eyes are red. Genesis chapter 49 verse 12. Bring it out. His eyes shall be red with wine. When we drink wine, what happens to the white of our eyes? Bring it out. They turn red. Christ drunk wine. His first miracle was turning water into wine. He drunk wine, but he drunk it in moderation. He didn't get drunk. Keep reading. Revelation chapter 1 verse 15. Bring it out. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? They're going to kill me. Call it brass. <laughs> what color is brass? It's brown. It's the derivative of brown. You you would be considered color brass. Bring it up. Two, Read. As if they burn in a furnace. If you take that same brown brass and burn it in a furnace, what color will it turn? 
black. So Christ was a dark brown, or we would say jet black, purple black, whatever you want to call it. He was a dark brown man. That's right. He would be considered an African American if he was, if he was walking the, the, the face of this earth right now. Right. You probably wouldn't even notice him. Because we all think that this right here is Christ. That's right. But this right here is a reason why we keep having these things happen to us. Bring it up. Because we think that this is our God, but this is our God. And according to the scriptures, we're not keeping God's commandments. That's right. Did you know that God only gave his commandments to one nation of people? Bring it out. You know that? Who, who is the people? Just look at his people. Who is his people? Read Matthew 2 verse 6. Oh, all right, we're going to find out. Matthew 2 verse 6. Bring it out. Who is God's people? Read. Matthew chapter 2 verse 6. Bring it out. of Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, my people, talking about God, Israel. Israel. God's people are the Israelites. That's right. It's not every nation. Right. So you believe, what's your name, brother? My name is Baron. Baron? And you sis? Deborah. Deborah. It's a beautiful name. Bible. That's right. All praises. So, the Bible says that his people are the Israelites. Right. So, so have you, so you assume, like all of us, you thought that all people were God's people. Okay. You, right? In Psalms 147 verse 19. Stay with me, stay with me. This is information that you would not learn anywhere in this world. That's right. Not in your Christian church. Right. Not in your schools. Right. Not in your colleges. Bring no matter where you go, out. not in these uh, seminaries. You're not going to learn it anywhere right. because they're not going to tell you the truth. Right. Why? Because the true image of this Bible is this black man. That's right. And they'll never tell you that. Right. Read. Psalm chapter 147 verse 19. Bring it out. He showed his word unto Jacob. His word was only given to Jacob, these 12 tribes of Israel right here. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. He has not dealt so with any nation. Hey, y'all love God? Come come listen in, come listen in. We're giving the image of Christ right now. Uh, give him a flyer. It says he has not dealt so with any nation. So his judgments were only given to Israel. His laws were only given to Israel. So with that, with that being said, what race of people is getting the most, the wickedness, and all this crazy stuff happening, the killings, the shootings, the, is his people? So who's his people? Oh, Israelites. Who's the Israelites? Bring it up. I'm listening. I want to hear what you got to say, because you said it's his people. <laughs> Israelites. Well, okay, I got a question. When, when your children, you look older, I'm pretty sure you got older kids. Do you have kids? When your children were small, when you punished them, how did you punish them? Bring it up. Most, most, most of the time we give them a beating, right? You whip them. Yeah. Put them on punishment, whatever it might be. Well, God does the same thing to his children. That's right. But God can't come down here and whip every last one of us. Right. So he has a different mechanism that he uses to punish his people. Right. So, give me that. Over there. No, give me Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Come on. I'm going to show you what God does to his people. Bring it up. And then give me Amos. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. Okay, Deborah, what did that just say? It says, if we would not do what? All his commandments. All his commandments. What you saying, Deborah? <laughs> I'm saying it like my journey down here, I don't believe that. You don't believe what? I don't believe that. Like you don't believe the Bible? Okay, well keep listening and tell me if you believe this. I have the Bible is for the Bible what? Hatred and violence. Was that from who? Who wrote the Bible? I'm asking you. Hey, for me, I, like I told someone the other day, the God that I serve is not a God of violence. The God that you serve is not a God of violence? See, I don't believe that because in that Bible, who is it? Is it when you say it? When it was telling you how to make your slave, how to teach your slave? 
You know what I'm saying? Where have you ever read that? That's just there. It's, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. God has never commanded That's anybody to rape anybody. But Work it out! Really, oh. But it's in that Bible. No, it's, 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 I, okay, I can, I'm going to pull it up and show you. I can it's promise you. And I'm going to show you. It's not in there. And I'm going to show you. God is not a God of unrighteousness. Right. Do you know God, give me, give me, uh, no, uh, 15 verse 3. Okay, Exodus, I think it's Exodus. God is the man of war. Watch this, watch this. Exodus, chapter 15, verse 3. Bring it out. Listen up, Deborah, listen up. The Lord is a man of war. God is a man of war. What happened to, to, to the time of Noah? Did God not destroy the whole world because they were not keeping his commandments? Bring it out! The wickedness and evil that was going on? Yeah. Make him a God of righteousness. That What's that? To war. That, would that would make him a God, God of righteousness? righteousness. That means just what, like but, he said. But what did he do to get righteousness? Bring, Bring it, it out! out. <laughs> well, he did what, he, what he, he warned what he would do if you do not follow the commandments. Okay. That he has given to his people. Okay. And that's what we're doing right now. That's right. right. Give me... Um, Give me uh, Matthew 24 verse 36. Bring it Watch out. This. That, that same God that destroyed the whole world in the time of Noah is going to do the same thing again. Bring it out. That time with, with water, this time he's doing it with fire. Right. Right. And so we're giving you this message today to warn you and everybody out here that will listen that that same God is going to do it again. Right. America will be destroyed with nuclear fire. Watch this. Matthew chapter 24 verse 36. Bring it out! But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So the, the Bible says that no man knows the hour that Christ is going to return. Not even the angels. Not even Christ himself. Read. But as the days of Noah were, the same way the days was of Noah, when everybody was having a good time, partying, drinking, getting, marrying, the same way that that water came and nobody was expecting it, the same, thing, the same way is going to happen when Christ returns the next time. Read. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, Read. they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Just like we do today. Read. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. Read. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So shall the, also the Son of Man be. That same way that God destroyed the earth with violence then, He's going to destroy it again with violence this time. Right. That's right. For His people not keeping the commandments and for all of the other wicked nations. Right. Bring it out. Period. That's, that's who this God is. Right. Give me Amos 3 verse 1. Bring it out. I'm going to show you what I said to you earlier that God uh, rebukes His people. He punishes His people. The Bring same way He punishes your kids. Watch this. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. Once again, that name Israel. From the from the from Genesis to Revelations, all throughout this Bible, he's, God is only dealing with the Israelites. That's right. Not all nations. Right. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Against the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. Read. Say, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. The Bible says he only knows Israel. Wow. Of all the families on the earth, he only knows Israel. That's right. He doesn't know the white man. He doesn't know the Chinese man. Yes, right. he created them all. They all come from Adam, but he only has one nation of people that he chose to be his children. Right. That's Read. Right. Therefore, I will punish you. He's going to punish who, Barry? He's going to punish his people. He's going to punish his people. For all your iniquities. For all your iniquities. You got the scripture, sis? I just got a new phone. <laughs> the scripture's not in there, sis. Deborah. Oh, Deborah. Oh, listen. It's not in there. It's in there. God is not a God of unrighteousness. Right. God is a righteous God. That's right. Give me Romans 9, verse 14. Bring it out. God is a God of war. He's a God of violence. Right. Not my God. Then I don't know who your God is. But it's not a God, it's not the God according to this Bible. Bring it up. Read. Read. Romans chapter 9 verse 14. Bring it out. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid! There is no unrighteousness with God. That's right! God just basically saying, hell no, sis. Right. Read. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid! 
God forbid. Give me 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9. Bring it out. I'm going to show you that God is a righteous God. Bring it he does he not. He wasn't righteous now. Don't huh? get it twisted. I didn't say he wasn't righteous. God is against anything that is evil, sis. Bring it out. Any I wickedness upon his right. people, he's against that. Right. He's against adultery. He's against fornication. He's against that. So he would not authorize anybody to rape somebody. Right. Right. It, it wouldn't make any sense. It, it, that, that makes God contradict, contradict himself. Read. Bring it out. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Bring it out. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? The Bible says that the unrighteous, the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Read. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Hey, there. We, I, don't want to film I got you. We, we won't, we won't film you. That's, it's only for security reasons, but we won't film you. Okay. We won't film you. We'll make sure we don't film you. Sorry about that. So you're good. Don't worry about it. You're good. We won't do it again. Yes, yeah, that's, that's all we use. But we won't do it again. Don't worry about it. Hey, we, don't worry about it. We won't do it. We got you. 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 If you say don't do it, we won't do it. All right? We. Nor adulterers. Nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Nor you listening? What you say? No, never mind. You listening? No, I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention at that moment. I was thinking something. Else. I keep reading. Nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. It says no effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Right. Abusers of themselves with mankind will go into homosexuality, lesbianism. God is against that, and we teach that. We teach against rape. Right. If we talk for rape, then I will assume it's in the Bible, because we don't choose in this Bible. Read. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Those people will not get the kingdom of heaven. That's right. And that's what you want to get, right? Check this out. Let me ask you a question. What happens when it comes to forgiveness? Mm -hmm. The forgiveness of God, the, the purpose of Christ coming to the earth. So what you what you saying? What is the what is? Are you you're saying that you make it sound like okay, I'm the Old Testament parable. Okay, you're making it sound as though there's you know, no. You know that's the New Testament that we're reading, yeah. right? You're making it sound as though there's no forgiveness, no possibility of forgiveness if you do anything that's against God's will. Okay. So I want to understand where does Jesus come in in that in, in that in that aspect. Give me that was the whole purpose of them sending the son so that we may have an opportunity to be able to give them. That's exactly right. Give me no, give me um Luke 13 verse 3. Bring it out. Give me Luke 13 verse 3. Read. Luke chapter 13 verse 3. Bring it out. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent. Except you change your ways. Okay, so I Read. <laughs> he shall all likewise perish. You will perish if you don't change your ways. That's what. Right. What does the Bible say? Give me uh, Romans 6 verse 23. No, through Christ, yes, you can repent. In the Old Testament, you you die. You know, there are certain things that you couldn't get repentance for. There's certain, if you if you committed sin, you had to kill an animal, a turtle dove, whatever it might be, and sometimes it was yourself. But with Christ, through Christ, we now have the chance to, with, to repent. Right. Read. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Bring it out. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is etern eternal life. But the gift of God is eternal life. That means when you repent, you have a chance to get the kingdom of heaven right. through the black Messiah. That's right. Not this lie right here, which is the image of the beast. Right. You understand that? So that's how you get the kingdom of heaven is keeping his commandments. Did you know that? You know that. So you do keep God's commandments? I do I do the best I can. Okay, I'm a, so you so you you would say you love God then? I would say I love God. Okay, give me first Corinthians eleven verse one. First Corinthians eleven verse one. Here's a simple commandment that you you found the scripture says? What's that? Let's go. Okay, what you got? Hey, and, and, and can you restate your claim of what was what he what is gonna prove? What is the It's not gonna well it's not gonna prove anything to you guys if you guys can be anything. No, 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 no. I, I'm saying for me, you know, okay. that when I think that I think that 
Okay, give me. And when I give me some. Hold that, hold that. Don't hold that. Come on, before Adam. Uh, so in the beginning of the Bible, it says God created the heavens and the earth in seven days. Well, really, six days. He does it all the time. But in the beginning, there's Adam and Eve. There's two people Adam. Mm -hmm. All right. So for me, that's what I'm saying. It's God's walk. Give me, give me Genesis one verse twenty six. Bring it out. God walk like a fairy. And then the two creations in the beginning. Of the you know where the fairy tale thought comes from? It comes from this right here, Christianity. Right. We have never been taught the Bible correctly. Right. Right. Never. Exactly. Look at this. Exactly. This is how we were stripped. Right. But we are here teaching the truth. We're not teaching what we learned under the slave master. Right. We're not. We're not on the plantation no more. Right. So we are teaching the truth. We're not teaching what we have learned. We're teaching what we have gotten from the scriptures. That's right. Not from the white man's knowledge, not, not from his philosophies. Right. Okay. Go to Psalms 111. Bring it out. 111 verse 10. Watch this, sis. Some. Here's how you get the true understanding of the scriptures. There's no other way you can get it except by this. Read. Psalms chapter 111 verse 10. Bring it out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding. A good understanding of these scriptures, whether you're reading Genesis or Revelation, read. Have all day that do his commandments. The Bible says, God says, that you got to be doing his commandments to have a good understanding of these scriptures. Right. Otherwise, your understanding will be twisted. Right. It's going to be twisted between your thoughts and this man's thoughts right here. Right. Right. Uh, so you tell you disagree with the scripture? You disagree? The boy, you, you can't. Give me, give me First John two verse six. First John two verse four. Two verse four. Hold, hold on. So you say you have a personal relationship? I'm gonna show you. No, the, the scripture don't show you. Right. Read. First John chapter two. Watch this, the boy. Verse four. He that saith, I know him. He that said that I have a personal relationship with Christ and keep it not his commandment and don't do one damn commandment is a liar makes you a liar Deborah that's right I didn't say that God said that that's right what are, what are we reading we're reading the Bible that's right you can ask a question yes sir what exactly? What version of the Bible is that? It's the King James version. Did you do? Let me hold on. King James was a black man. If you don't know that, it's because you have the same philosophy as this man right here. King James was a black man. Right. What's your point? That Bible has been tampered with many times by many different people. That's what I'm telling. Prove it. I, I will so okay, so I'm not gonna do it right now. One question. One question. One question, man. Before you go, before you go. One question before you go. One question. Hey, first question only. I got one question. Was that scripture a lie that we just read? Bring it up. So was it tampered with? Was that scripture tampered with? Oh, this demon. Was that scripture tampered with? Read. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse twenty-one. Prove all things. If you got any knowledge of any understanding, no. prove it according to the scriptures. That's everything right. that we have said out here, everything that we've read, we proved it with the scriptures. That's right. Right. Hold, hold fast that which is good. Hold fast that which is good, which is keeping God's commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.